Hey guys, Georgia Soundtracks here, and this week we're going to show you exactly all the benefits that you can get out of using a current keeper with your models. So let's get started. Now with Soundtracks products, we offer a product called the Current Keeper. Now the Current Keeper is a stay alive module that you can simply add on to your decoder to help maintain power to the processor and to the motor and the amplifier during millisecond losses of track power. So like say for example, if you have dirty track or if you're using dead frogs in a yard ladder, those are key po points where you may lose track power and therefore your processor shuts down. Well, a Current Keeper is a product you can add on to your decoder that will give you up to 10 seconds of track power after track power has been lost so that that way you can power through those dead sections of track so that your locomotive will now be able to run virtually unstoppable. So how does it work? Well, the Current Keeper has an inrush charge uh, circuit that makes sure that the Current Keeper doesn't overcharge quickly so it does take about a minute and a half to fully charge the current keeper but it allows you up to 10 seconds of track power now the reason we use the words up to 10 seconds of track power is because there are a lot of variables that go into it including the motor any lights or anything like that the type of speaker that's being used so to show this off today we've got three completely different locomotives we have a Bachman 440 we have a Blackstone Models K27 and we have our friends at Athern Genesis, they're a modern Jeevo. And all three of these models are equipped with a Tsunami 2 and a current keeper. Right now I have them all set to address 3 with the exact same momentum settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run these models at about speed step 5. And you can see all the models moving. But when I remove track power, you can see that they're still moving. You can see the first one stopped, this one stopped, and this one's still going. And so there's a lot of variable factors that determines how long your current keeper is going to last, including the motor. Now you can hear that some of the sounds are still going because the processor on board the Tsunami 2 draws very, very little current, and so therefore it's able to keep the processor and the amplifier running even though it may not have enough power to keep the motor running. Now we've lost power to all of our models. So as you can see how a current keeper would be beneficial. Now let's run that same experiment, but now we're going to reapply track power and see how it applies. So let's reset these guys back where they were. We're going to go ahead and reapply track power. Now remember, it takes about a minute and a half to fully charge. So we're gonna go ahead and charge these guys and we'll be right back. Well, that's been about two minutes. So these current keepers should be fully charged. So we're gonna go ahead and start these models running at about speed step five as we did before. And I'm just gonna take the power away and then reapply track power. And then take power away and then reapply track power. So you can see how this is going to keep models running during those millisecond losses of track power. Now that we've shown you just what the benefits of a current keeper are, I want to tell you that every one of our Tsunami 2 products and our Economy products do have provisions to add a current keeper to it. Whether it's a two pin connector or wires to attach to it, you'll be able to add your current keeper easily to the Tsunami 2 products. Now the current keepers are in stock and available now at your local retailer. Retail price is $29.95, so be sure to check for your best price.